Hello boys and girls, welcome to STEM night. Today we're going to be doing an activity, uh, but first I'm going to read you a story. This story is called Rosie Revere Engineer, and it's by Andrea Beatty and illustrated by David Roberts. This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. But when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer stash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the eaves. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. When Rosie was young, she had been not been so shy. She worked with her hair sweeping over one eye and made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. Pretty funny, huh? The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head from parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slapped his knee and he chuckled out loud. He laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, truly I do. But Rosie Revere knew that it could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat on the back of her shelf and after that day kept her dreams to herself. Poor Rosie. And that's how it went until one autumn day. Her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great, great Aunt Rose was a true dynamo who worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of the things she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile as she looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly. But time never lingers, as it seems. I'll chalk that one up to an old lady's dreams. That night, as Rosie lay wide-eyed in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese hat and said, no. Not I, but questions are tricky and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. See what happened. Strapped into the cockpit, she flipped on the switch. The Hello Cheese copter sputtered and twitched. It floated a moment and whirled round and round 
then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Hmm. Then Rosie heard laughter and turned round to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who thought, oh no, never, not ever again, will I try to build something to sputter or spin or build with a lever, a switch or a gear, and never will I be a great engineer. She turned round to leave, and then great, great Aunt Rose grabbed hold of young Rosie and pulled her in close and hugged and kissed her and started to cry. You did it, hooray, it's perfect, first try. This great flop is over, it's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie, it's just made of trash. Didn't you see the cheese copter crashed? Yes, said her great aunt. It crashed, that is true. But first it did what it needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt as it all became clear. Life might not have its fail might have its failures, but this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. They worked till the sun sneaked away in its bed. Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and sent her to sleep with a smile ear to ear to dream the bold dreams of a great engineer. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two built gizmos and gadgets and dicky hoos too. With a perfect failure, they all stand and cheer but none quite as proud as Rosie Revere. And that is the end of my story. And we learned, boys and girls, that you should never give up, okay? You have to keep trying, just like Rosie Revere. My favorite saying is, no one is a failure who keeps on trying. Now, our activity today that we're going to be doing, you should have picked up some supplies from Dr. Mudd. And in your bag, you're gonna find some tiny marshmallows and some toothpicks. You're also going to find this page right here, okay? There's three pages, front and back. And these are gonna be what we're gonna build with our marshmallows and toothpicks. We're gonna to be making two and 3D shapes with these. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put your marshmallow on the toothpick, you wanna to poke your uh, toothpick in far enough that it stays, but it doesn't go through the marshmallow. And then you might be putting more than one toothpick in the marshmallow. And there we have it. I made the first shape on the page, okay? now. The page tells you how many marshmallows and how many toothpicks you need for each shape. As you go through the packet, you're going to be making more and more difficult shapes. In fact, my favorite one I made is the star. Can you make this one? Yeah. And there's also some 3D shapes. Notice this one, this is a triangular prism. I have four toothpicks in the top marshmallow. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so start building. And if it doesn't turn out, remember you can always try again and see if you can make some shapes that aren't on here. Maybe you can 
invent some shapes. And don't forget to send us pictures of what you're creating. You can send them either to me or to Mr. Yake. Have fun, boys and girls.